Rocky Martin's very excited and pleased to have Romania join the F-16 family, 27th customer, and, and uh, as you're probably aware, uh, about six aircraft are coming, landing, and in in, uh, arriving in the September time frame. Uh, those aircraft are coming out of the inventory from Portugal, from the Portuguese Air Force. They're Block 15 originally aircraft. They've gone through a midlife upgrade program, and so uh, they come in with about half of their expected life remaining on the aircraft. But they've gone through a midlife upgrade program and, and they're being refreshed right now with joint helmet mounted queuing systems and targeting and advanced targeting pod systems and upgraded avionics uh, and communications navigation equipment. So uh, in, in many uh, respects, a very equivalent aircraft to the one that's behind me, the aircraft behind me is a Block 40. This is very, in, in many ways, the kind of aircraft that you're getting uh, with the 12 aircraft coming from Portugal because of the updates that have been done to them. Block 40 aircraft a bit newer in terms of when it was produced, but because of the midlife upgrade program that uh, the Block 15 airplanes coming from Portugal that are uh, soon to be part of your inventory, uh, because of that midlife upgrade program, uh, the aircraft you see behind me is very much common uh, across the avionics and the systems and the uh, displays inside the cockpit with the aircraft that you're getting. So we're still producing F-16s. We've got production that takes us out a couple more years. We're in discussions right now with multiple countries for additional F-16s and, and uh, are upgrading the exist existing fleet of F-16s with new avionic systems. We call it the F-16V for Victor, for Viper. And uh, it puts an active electronically scanned array radar, the state-of-the-art radar that's common in many, many ways with the F-35 radar, new avionic systems, new displays, new uh, a data bus system inside the aircraft so that uh, maximum amount of data and tactical battle space awareness can happen. And so that would be a natural upgrade in the future for the aircraft that you're uh, soon to be receiving from Portugal. But it would also be a natural process if you want additional aircraft that we could uh, produce those aircraft brand new for Romania and, and that production capacity still exists today. And the, F-16V that I was just speaking about is a uh, the latest upgrade that's possible. It puts new radars, new computers, new systems inside, new displays inside the cockpit, and it really does take technologies that have been proven and developed for the F-22 and F-35 avionics technologies and roll those back and reinsert those back into the F-16. So we're very confident. In fact, you'll see the United States Air Force extending the life of their F-16s because they're combat proven and they're upgrading those F-16s to keep them combat relevant. And that's the aircraft that's coming to Romania, that kind of capability. I think the F-16V upgrade with an active electronically scanned array radar, which uh, shares great commonality with the radar that's on the F-35, would be the second natural step. So you start with these Block 15 MLU airplanes, you upgrade to, to F-16V uh, capabilities, and that's a natural step and a progression towards an F-35. Lockheed Martin, as the original equipment manufacturer, the designer and manufacturer of the F-16, will support the Romanian Air Force, will support uh, the government here in the transfer, in the supporting and sustaining the bedding down. So we'll work with your industry, we'll work with your Air Force to understand how to operate the aircraft, how to own the aircraft, support them, fly them, sustain them, and uh, keep them, make sure that, that the process goes smoothly. So when those aircraft arrive in three or four months from now, uh, we'll be here, we'll be working with your Air Force and your in, uh, industry to make sure that all goes very smoothly.